All right, I'm going to let him talk, and um, I'm going to show this. But before I do that, I've shown this before, and we have to do this now. If you type that word, or my name, or that, or any of these things, or speak them, the video goes into the Never Never Land. And I get, I get no views at all. And you can't say that either or that now either, because that also puts you in a certain area where nobody's going to see you unless they have something. You don't even say this either. <laughs> that one or that one. We're in a different world now. The, the artificial intelligence can listen to you. They can see what you type. Don't type that in the comments and don't speak it around my stuff, because I, I've already been put into Never Never Land, and I, I don't want to stay there. So here he goes. I'm the giant's top of normal humans. So give us a little bit of a sketch as to what intrigued you. I know your own height was of interest, but what intrigued you into the uh, studying this subject so deeply? Well, I mean, the first thing was when I discovered I was going to be tall, I, I started uh, having fascination with giant stories. And as a journalist and filmmaker, documentary filmmaker, I had a file of unusual stories. And over the years, um, I would clip giant references and so on and so forth, and uh, never really thought that much about it, honestly. And several years ago, I was looking for a project to do, and I was going through the file, and I said, I'm going to check out this giant stuff, you know, and uh, subscribed to several online newspaper archive services and began a, a, an in-depth research on it. And at first, I couldn't find a lot of the articles, and then I used the word search for a headline, and I think the first one I put in was, Giant skeletons unearthed, and I found 30 articles, and that just it, that was like going down Alice's rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I ended up with over 800 stories, legitimate mm -hmm. accounts, every state in the union, all the way down to. All right, I, I'm going to stop him right. There's no sense in going back. You see these dates? They stopped talking about this, and no longer. And these are only little puppies compared to the stuff I have. I'm serious. The stuff I have, I have one. It's the small one. is about 50 feet tall. All right, that's a fingertip. This is out in my yard. I have that, and I have uh, more to go with this one that is from the same hand. I have other fingers with this. This was the most perfect one. That is, that's the guy's fingernail. And it goes around the other side, and the fingerprints are there. And I can guarantee they're there because I smashed it off down here so I could get the 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 fingerprints and there they are I mean I can't get the whole fingerprints obviously but that's the fingerprints and that's where the skin comes down I broke that off right here look if I you take this and you wrap it around there that's where those fingerprints came from the other side of the guy where, where your fingerprints are the same as they're on you um, <laughs> and that thing is 36 inches long and 30 inches wide. It's a fingertip. You do the calculation, you're up a couple hundred feet. And that's not even the big ones. I see stuff all over the earth. I have been sent hundreds of things. So I hope this guy, Richard Dewhurst here, will call, contact me. I'd love to see him do a video, a uh, uh, documentary on this. Because he's right. It's been, it's been suppressed. And even my own family. I'm going to tell you something right now. My son was just here, you know, and he's no dummy. He's 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 educated. I mean, he's he's got a, a master's degree from Rutgers. He's no idiot. But they won't pay attention to this. And I'm here eight years, and he's he, you know he doesn't live here with us, but he at this time. But he stops by frequently, and I start talking to him about it because they won't. They just don't want to hear it. And the same thing today. Just today, after eight years of being doing this. I said, I, this son's name is Max. I said, Max, the, the, these things are gigantic, and there was people here with high tech, and everybody's telling you we're here for monkeys. You have no idea what we're in store for when we hit eternity. And I want to speak about it. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I said, how could you not care? How? Where is your mind? I mean, he's my son. I love him, but this is what I get from everybody. I mean everybody. As soon as you confront them with this, and you have to confront people because they won't look if you don't confront them, you're going to have to shake them and grab them by the throat and say, hey, listen to me. 
And that's what I do. <laughs> and it doesn't pay, play out well with a lot of people. But that is a fingertip. Look, that's what a bone is in the back of the fingertip. That's a fingernail. I mean, what should I say? What can I say? And I have them out here in my yard. Well, here, let me show you something else. There's a hand from out in front of me. This was oh, six or seven years ago. I dug that up and it's been sitting there and it's, not, it's probably heavily eroded now. But that is the palm and I have the fingers here. Hold on. Uh, here's one right here. That was certified as a thumb. I think it was a left thumb. And that's the pad underneath. There's a uh, apical tuft at the end. Here's another one here from one that had eroded me. This was in two different areas. One side of it eroded heavily, or it might even be two, two, the, the other hand, but one was extremely eroded and the fingers were like, well that's the apical tuft and that sits right inside of there. And I know this is human because it was DNA certified. Secondly, we are the only ones that have these big apical tufts. All right now, and that's the finger. And if you look at it in a CAT scan, you can see the fingernail bed and everything. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's been DNA certified. And the other one, hold on, hold on. All right, this is from either it's either it was this way, like um, this would have been up and that would have been down, or the, the it came from another hand. What happened is I had a. I had an addition done in my house. They dug out a little thing for the basement. And in the pile was this stuff. All of these hands, the hand, and, and this is the other uh, hand, the, well, I don't know if it's the other hand, it's another finger. And that's the vein and that's the artery. And the vein, uh, arteries blow out because there's no restriction to them. There's no clamp. The veins don't. See, that's the vein, that's the vein. You see that angle right there? That's where the tendons lock in. So you can see, this one has the same thing. The tendons lock in there so you can move your fingers. This is not a joke. And nobody seems to want to talk about it. So Richard Dewhurst, contact me, brother. I have we can go out and dig this stuff up. I have other spots in here. I've already dug them out of the ground halfway. Wait a minute, I just walked the dog. Hold on. Where you see this one? This was last week. I'm just out walking the dog on the other side from where the fingertips are and I find a toe. Right, that's a toe. That's a guy's toe. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. That is the guy's toe. See this? If you looked at it right, when I first had it in here, you can see the round. This is where the ligaments come down. It's a, trust me, it's a toe. And it's all laying out there. It's all right on the surface, too. So this is not stuff that's way deep. And they talk about 18-foot giants like something big. This is this one here is at least 50 feet, 45, 50 feet, something like that. The other one is a couple of hundred feet. Just what it is. Okay, I gotta try to be a little antagonistic. This is Mud Fossil Research where I post things. This is my group. And I say, I was told by my professors that we came from monkeys. Ancient texts I read say that is not true. We are from God or gods and other intel intelligent, advanced human or human-like creatures, and I have the proof that fact is true. That fact is true. And I link to a video here. And then I say, I say your teachers are incompetent. If that's what they're telling you, and they can look at this and continue to tell you that, they are incompetent. I say, look at the true evidence of our past and ask for your money back from your teachers. If they continue to tell you that we are from monkeys and this is not, this just happened to be here, how can they explain this? Ask them to explain this. That's my problem with what's going on around. They took these and made these walls, and they sunk into here, obviously, when it was wet. It's a tank-type tank vehicle. This is a giant tendon. It sunk into here as they cut slabs to make walls back here. It's a giant tendon. 
trust me, I know what I'm talking about. And they, this one here, they made a mess. This is a bloody bone, and they used it right here. This is a blow up of that. This this wall was not well done, but they will fit in here. That is, that's why you can't put anything in there because they were done wet, and they did it with these vehicles in and not just one place. There was a lot of places. Right, and they had like tank, like uh, four wheelers, like we have. That's the uh, go get a guy with uh, one of these uh, big quad things, same tire track. And they came down, and they cut them slabs. That's not somebody with stone chisel or some copper chisel doing that. They had some high tech stuff, and this is what they were cutting tendons, just like that. And it's, it's, it's the same chemist chemistry, CaCO3 limestone with imperfections in it and um, inclusions but it's it's uh, it's calcium carbonates there's another one that's I mean they're all over the place so if they're telling you that this means nothing you got an issue with the people that are teaching you